Hello everyone and welcome back. In this new lesson, we're going to build the navigation system of our application using Angular material. So if you start our application, currently we have here a blank page. Let's then add a navigation system to this application. We're going to add here a top menu bar and we're going to add here an icon that when clicked upon is going to open a navigation sidebar where we are going to have our several menu entries that are going to take us to other screens of our application. So the best way to add the top level navigation system in your application is to add it directly here on the application component template, which is currently empty. We only have here the slider that we have used just to prove that Angular Material is up and running in this application. Let's then add here our navigation system by using the Angular Material Mat Side Nav Container component. So the container component is going to have a couple of elements inside it. The first element is going to be the side nav. So this is the container of the navigation elements that are going to show up here. And this side nav is going to be shown or hidden depending on if we click here on an open menu icon. And besides the material side nav, we are also going to be adding here another element, which is a top level toolbar that is going to be always visible here at the top of our application. For that, we're going to be using the material toolbar component. Besides these two main navigation elements, we also need to foresee where are we going to display the main content of the Angular router. So the component that is going to be activated whenever we navigate to a given route, such as, for example, the login page, the courses page, etc. The sample application that we are running here already contains some routing configuration. So if you open here your project, you're going to see here an app routing module. So this contains the routing configuration of our application. We can see here the different components that we are about to build using many different Angular Material components. So in order to display these components on the screen, such as for example the home component in case that we access the root path of our application, we need to add here on the main component of our application what is known as a router outlet. So this is a special Angular router directive. This is not specific of Angular material that is going to inform the Angular router where the main component of the route that we have just reached should be displayed on the screen. So if, for example, here we navigate to the about page, then the about component that matches this path in the browser is going to be displayed here in place of the router outlet directive. So now that we have identified here the main elements of our navigation system, let's go ahead and let's implement them one by one. Starting here with the outer container. We want to make sure that the container occupies the full viewport of the browser. So let's add here the full screen attribute. Next, let's take care here of our toolbar. So first, let's set the color. We are going to use the primary color of our theme. You could also use here the accent color, for example, but the menu elements typically use the primary color. This material toolbar is going to be displayed here on top of the screen. So let's go ahead and let's add its content. For the moment, we are going to simply add a button to it. So, so far, this is a plain HTML button. But now we're going to turn this into an Angular Material Icon button by adding here the Matte Icon Button Directive. And let's define what icon should be displayed here. We're going to be using another Angular Material Directive called Matte Icon. And we're going to add here the Menu Icon. You can choose between any of the icons available on the Angular Material Icons page that we have shown earlier on in the course. Whenever this icon gets clicked, then our side menu with all our menu entries is going to get opened. And that is going to be displayed here using the material side nav container element. Inside the material side nav container, we're going to add our list of menu entries using the material nav list container. Now let's go ahead and let's add here some commonly used menu items. Each menu item will be under the form of an HTML anchor tag that has the mat list item directive applied to it. 
each menu item is going to have some text associated to it and we're going to add it inside a span. So this first entry is going to be to the courses screen. And we can optionally add here an icon to each menu entry. In our case, we're going to add here the library books icon. Let's add here a material icon directive and let's add here the key for the library books icon. So the keys for each icon are displayed on the material icons documentation. Besides the text and the optional icon, we need to tell here Angular to which screen to navigate whenever we click here on an entry. And we do so by using the router link directive. So again, this is not an Angular material specific directive, this is a router directive. Let's navigate here to the root of our application that is linked here to the courses screen, as we can see here on the routing configuration in the app routing module file. So now we have here our first menu entry. Let's go ahead and let's add here a few more commonly used menu entries. And because the structure of the other menu entries is very similar to the one that we have just written, I'm simply going to paste them in here and we're going to quickly review them together. So as we can see, we have here a couple more menu entries. We have here a link to the about page that is linked here to the about path that as you can see here on the Angular router is going to trigger the display of the about component here at the level of the router outlet. We have also here another commonly used menu entry such as an entry for registering a new user on the application and an entry for signing in to the application. So these are all very commonly used menu options. Now let's add some interactivity here to our menu. We want to make sure that whenever we click here on the menu icon that the side nav is going to get displayed. So for that we're going to be creating here a couple of references. Let's give here a name to the side nav component. And with this local template reference we're going to be able to refer to the side nav anywhere on the page. Now the logic that we want to implement is whenever the menu icon button gets clicked we want to access the side nav and we want to open it by calling the open method of its public API. In a very similar way whenever we click in any of the menu items that we have added here we want to close the side nav. So for that we are going to be detecting here the click event at the level of the nav list component. So the click event that we're going to trigger whenever we click here on one of the menu entries is going to bubble here to the nav list container. Once we detect this click event, we want to go ahead and we want to close the side nav. And with this, we have finished the implementation of our navigation system. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. So at the moment, you don't have to have your backend server running. You only need the Angular CLI. And once you have here the code compiled successfully, you can go ahead and access here port localhost 4200. And you're going to see here your application with our top menu material toolbar. So this that we see here corresponds to this component here, the material toolbar. And once we click here on the side menu, we're going to open the material side navigation bar, which contains here the entries that we have added to the courses screen that we currently see on the screen, but also, for example, here to the about screen. And you can notice that if we click on the about entry, the side nav is going to get closed. If you open it again and click on courses, we're going to be going back here to the courses screen as expected. And with this, we now have here in place a simple navigation system for our application. Let's go ahead and let's learn in our next lesson what other navigation elements we have available with Angular Material.